Hello friends, so today I will be sharing to you about my gardening uh, plants this year. So this is my greenhouse set up in the basement. I start planting since February. These batches right here are just the last batch of vegetable that I'm planting because the rest of it is outside already hardening up. So I live in Canada and I have to do the indoor planting before taking it outside. So these are the few of it and the, the rest is outside. See what we have here. I have white radishes, jute. This is just uh, flowers, which is cosmos, zinnias. And I have some okra, more okra, butternut squash. And this is mustard. And I have here uh, corn and then some peas and rattlesnake beans. This one are bok choy and red radishes at the very end. And this one is spinach. This one is carrots. So these are glandulous. So I have to wait till this comes out and I have to transplant outside. So this is the second week of May. A lot of my garden beds, actually most of my garden beds is still empty. Whatever is out here right now are the perennial plants, the flowers, raspberries, and um, some of the lilacs, and the rest is still empty. My garden beds is already conditioned. I put some common manure and fresh soil. I, my pets are already filled up ready for my plants to be transplanted so before i transplant uh, my vegetables on the ground i have to harden them up so a few hours a day i leave them under the shady parts and then after a few days i have to move them slowly to the sun until it's ready for transplanting so the cost of the vegetable um, seedlings right now is $3.58 in, uh, per piece in a small pot. So it cost, uh, it saved me a lot of money actually to do my own planting. So this is the third week of May. I already transplanted my vegetables in the garden beds. Under this netting are my broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbages. So if you can see them a little bit bigger now, but this was done in my greenhouse. And here the next bed are the peppers and eggplants, um, peppers, eggplants, and okra. And the next beds are my tomatoes. I have some trellises in the corner. I have beans and long beans, which is sitao. And on the pots, I have some squash and some um, malabar spinach. Check this out, guys. I have harvested 80 liters or more of compost from this compost bin. This is going to be great for my plants. So see you next time and follow up for more.